San Francisco is a great city to visit, but it can be expensive. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share the 10 free things to do in San Francisco. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, we have the Golden Gate Bridge. This is one of the most iconic spots in the city and luckily for budget travellers, it is free for pedestrians. Walk across the bridge and visit one or two of the many viewpoints around the area, taking in bridge views from plenty of different angles. Next we have Pier 39. There are some paid attractions located on Pier 39, but the pier itself is completely free. Enjoy the performers, catch a movie screening, and spend some time watching the adorable sea lions. If you did want to visit the Aquarium of the Bay attraction that is located on Pier 39 and other paid attractions, you can save money getting yourself a Go City Pass. We will leave the link in the description below. After spending time on Pier 39, you can continue to explore the neighbourhood of Fisherman's Wharf. This is a popular place in the city and a free thing to do in San Francisco. Take a stroll, try some clam chowder and learn about the history of the wharf. Next we have Lombard Street. The street is known for a steep one block section with eight hairpin turns. Head to the top of this block to see views of the city and then walk along the pedestrian walkway, appreciate the quirky road and landscaped flower beds that are surrounded by gorgeous houses. Then we have the San Francisco Cable Car Museum. Of course, the city is known for their historic cable cars. Although taking a ride is not free, you could choose to visit the Cable Car Museum located at the corner of Mason and Washington Street. Here you can learn about the history of this iconic transportation option and see how the entire system runs. San Francisco has one of the oldest Chinatowns in North America and one of the biggest. It covers 24 blocks to be exact. Strolling through the streets and browsing the shops is of course completely free, but make sure to spend a little bit of money by trying some of the authentic Chinese food here. Then we have the Presidio. The 1,500 acre national park is a fantastic place for a day outdoors with historic buildings, hiking trails and many picnic spots that offer incredible views. This is a great park to enjoy for free whilst in San Francisco. Next, head to the beach. San Francisco is home to some lovely beaches that you can spend time walking along. Ocean Beach is a picturesque place to take a stroll, whilst Baker Beach has nearby hiking trails and a great view of Golden Gate Bridge. You could also take advantage of the San Francisco City Guides. San Francisco is known for its friendly, welcoming locals, and you can experience that firsthand by taking a City Guide tour. Local volunteers love the city so much that they offer free guided tours to visitors, sharing their knowledge of the different neighbourhoods and the city's history. These tend to run from May through to October and tours last around one to two hours. San Francisco has some fantastic museums that you can spend time in and most offer free admission days each month. The Asian Art Museum of San Francisco offers free admission on the first Sunday of each month, whilst the Legion of Honor and the D. Young Museum offers free admission on the first Tuesday of each month. We will leave a link to all of the free museum days in the description below but you could also choose to head to the San Francisco Botanical Gardens every morning from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. for free admission then too. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to San Francisco. Then to find out 10 ways to save money in San Francisco, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.